Right guys, so I'm currently preparing for my job and I've already showered, as you can tell by my hair. I'm now going to be preparing some coffee. As you can see, it's actually not a coffee, but a green matcha tea latte because it's quite healthy and kind of nice. That's hot. Now, if you guys know me a little bit, then you know that I usually do something called intermittent fasting. And in simple terms, that's basically when you don't eat in the morning. And that's why I will not be making breakfast right now. Instead, I will be bringing one of these to the job, which is super good. And handy because they're tiny, just in case I get hungry at my job. Cheers. Mm, that's still hot. Right guys, don't tell anything to my agency, but I'm a teeny tiny little bit late. I was taking too long to drink my matcha latte. Whoops. Here in Korea, it's really cold right now. As you can probably tell by my breathing. Like, and in addition, here in Korea, you basically need to wear a mask everywhere. We just arrived at the studio and it is a really, really cool one. Meet my partner in crime today, Angie. It's actually her birthday, so happy birthday to her. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do So today's job, we're gonna do what we wanted to do all morning. Sleep. So this is the before. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, so you see my makeup, right? We'll have a look at what the lighting is in the changing rooms. I look like I'm a f monster. <laughs> So since we were shooting underwear, not only am I wearing a jock strap, but they also put like nipple patches on my nipples. After every outfit, I'm basically gonna be taking off his nipple. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm crying. Nice long hair and you notice she's a bad chick. All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit. Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket. I just want to get her all alone on a mattress. I just want to have it, I just gotta have it. Rumors all around say her body is fantastic. All natural, not a piece of fur is plastic. Head to her toes, yeah, they say that she's a lash. Yeah, the whispers all around say she has a reputation. Don't believe it till I see it. So I want a demonstration and I've always learned it better with the hands-on education so I need a private session if you get I sometimes think to myself with the amount of makeup that they put on my face that either I was really ugly beforehand or they're just all Twilight fans because I now look like that one vampire from Twilight basically a vampire with lipstick now All natural, not a piece of fur is plastic to her toes, yeah, they say that she's a lash. Yeah, the whispers all around say she has a reputation. Don't believe it till I see it. So I want a demonstration, and I've always learned it better with a hands on education. So I need a private session if you get what I am saying. And they say that she's not easy, no, she's really complicated, but that only makes it better. And it's got me so fixated, and I'm not the type to wait around. I've never hesitated. Sometimes they really treat you like toddlers because <laughs> they pretend like you can't change your own clothes and then they come with you into your changing room and then there's no space and it's just you and this client and they obviously close the curtain because come on, show some respect to the model, right? Unlike many other people, I actually learned to get dressed myself when I was a child. I know I'm a hidden talent, it's like, wow, a model that can change his own clothes? No way. Right, so it's the last nipple stickers of the day. <laughs> Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, my nipples have never been so sore. <laughs> so I just attempted in removing all of my makeup from my face and all of this was actually on my face. 
and that is crazy I feel like two kilos lighter in my face even though I doubt that everything is gone and now I'm just watching the sunset from this beautiful balcony whilst Angie finishes her job because she still has like two or three more outfits because I was just so much faster I'm kidding but if you want to go check out Angie's Instagram the link will be in the description whilst I managed to take away some of the makeup from my face my hair still feels like a rock <laughs> It was nice taking you guys along with me to another job. I think there was some really, really cool behind the scenes this time because Christina did a great job filming the behind the scenes. The clients were super nice, so I was allowed to film a lot. <laughs> so once again, I'm on my way to my job. Today is actually quite a late one because it starts at like 9.30 or 9.45, which is usually quite late for a modeling job. Today it's actually negative five degrees outside, which is absolutely insane. And uh, I don't know how to cope with that if they make me shoot outside. So we've arrived at the studio and uh, today is really just one of those days that I have to get through because I'm so tired. So I'm now two coffees in and makeup is nearly done, I think. <laughs> it's pretty cool makeup today. There's no lipstick, which is a big plus for me because I hate lipstick. Today we have 14 outfits, which is quite cool to know because usually you just work until you finish and you don't know when you're finishing and you kind of like work until infinity and you have no idea when you're done. They're also using this weird wind blower and it's super funny to look at because the final image usually looks super nice, but when you see the behind the scenes and the actual production of this like image, Image with the wind blower, it's kind of funny. So the makeup was all going to plan until the makeup artist actually poked me in the eye. This wasn't really his fault and he was actually a really good makeup artist, just that I opened my eye at the wrong time and you know, the brush was in my eye. <laughs> now, something that I realized with a lot of the clients here is that they start off being like super polite and like respectful and then as the shoot goes on they get more and more rough with you. Sometimes you actually feel like a building or like a mannequin because they're moving you into the exact place that they want you and at the same time they're making sure there's no wrinkles on the clothes or anything like that they're basically all around you and they try to make sure that every part of your outfit like fits well it's now like six o'clock nearly which means i get to go home have some dinner and relax a little bit and you know enjoy the rest of the evening i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me i'll see you guys in the next video right so i was about to end this video but i just walked by this super cool car pretty sick